Good morning, friends, and happy Monday, and happy Disney week! We are leaving for Disney in two days. I am so excited. If you ask me if I'm excited, yes. I'm excited. Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell or not. I don't know. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> but yes, I am super excited. And I started packing just a little bit yesterday. Well, I mean, I didn't like pack pack. I just pulled out some stuff. And I'm going to do a packing video, which will go up on Wednesday. So I'm working on that. And yeah, Brian and I are leaving Wednesday morning. We decided instead of leaving around noon, we we're gonna leave first thing Wednesday morning. So probably around 7 a.m. we're gonna leave and hit the road, which is gonna be so nice. That means we're gonna get there earlier. And then we we're gonna go to a park. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go eat at our sushi place because for your, those of you who follow us or know anything about us, um, we have a sushi place that we like to go to when we arrive there at Disney. And, uh, well, it's not at Disney. It's off property. But anyway, we like to go to our sushi place, grab some lunch, and then we go check into our room, get settled in, and then we're going to go to a park. So that's what we're going to do. So we're very, very excited about that. We already have fast passes for that park. We were only able to get two fast passes, though, because all the other fast passes were taken. So I think we're just going to go and hang out there and relax and enjoy our evening. Uh, another thing that I have to do today, I have to actually call the dermatologist. I know that I've like told you guys about this like bump on my neck or whatever. And um, it has been there now for like two years. And I'm going to spare you all like the juicy details. But it, it kind of started off as like a zit or a blemish. And I was able to get stuff out of it like two years ago. I know TMI for those of you who can't deal with it, but I think this is important. Um, so I was able to get something out of it like two years ago. And then since then, it hasn't like gone away and it just kind of like stayed there. Well, it drives me crazy. It really does. I've put like medicine on it or whatever. And then last year I kind of had a doctor's appointment and I kept canceling it. Well, it's still bothering me. It's still there. It drives me crazy. So yesterday I was kind of like looking things up and I'm sure, you know, you're not supposed to Google your symptoms or whatever. So I Googled them anyway. And, uh, it showed that it was like a, um, what is that? Basal carcinoma or whatever. So that like totally freaked me out. So I'm going to be calling the dermatologist today and making an appointment and sticking to that appointment and going to see what this actually is and see if they can remove it. Cause it actually is driving me crazy And all the little things that it looks like the thing, you know, what it looks like, it looks like the pictures of that on Google. So I'm like, Ooh, no, I'm not a doctor. I just Googled some stuff and just started looking up a few things and that came up and it looks identical to what this is. So and like, I got to get this taken care of. So, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and make up the bed. I did change the sheets and stuff yesterday on the bed because I do that every Sunday, but I don't really vlog on the weekends unless we go do something. So I'm going to make up the bed now and I'm going to jump in the shower and get myself together. I have a few errands that I have to go run today. I am going to go wash and vacuum the car. I'm going to Publix to get some more Muddy Buddies. And then I'm going to Kroger to get Brian some ices and what's oh yogurts. So and some bananas for us for the week while we're there. So that is what I'm gonna do today. Hope you guys stick around. And yeah, it should be a fun day getting ready for Disney. Ah, 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 ah. I'm excited. I'm gonna be 46 on Saturday and I this is like my my Disney birthday trip and again this is the trip that I was supposed to go with on my go to with my mom go on with my mom yeah go on with my mom and I wanted to give you guys a couple of updates on my mom as well so this whole past week she hasn't felt like great she hasn't felt good um yesterday I think she said was the first day that she actually started feeling better or feeling good or feeling normal um 
they, for some reason, I don't know why she's confused. <laughs> she's confused. She said that they, you know, she was on Coumadin for a while. She goes, and then they changed me to Warfin. And then yesterday when I was talking to her, she goes, well, Coumadin and Warfin are the same thing. And I'm like, okay. So I was confused. She was confused. So she's supposed to go to the doctor today to get, um, like an update and, and get a checkup and all that good stuff. So I'm going to wait for her to talk to me this afternoon and see, you know, how everything is going from there. Um, my little nephew, Lucas, was in the hospital this weekend. He has RSV, so they put him in, I think, Friday night, but released him, like, Saturday afternoon. So, um, but yeah, he was up at Vanderbilt uh, in Nashville, but he is doing better. His temperature has gone down. So he has a follow-up today as well. So I'll be waiting to hear about his follow-up. And little Miss Courtney is just getting big. And she's 34 weeks. And we're waiting for April 5th to come. <laughs> so she can have that baby. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's the updates on my family over in Tennessee. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a bed. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye, guys. Alrighty, guys. So I am out and about gonna go run my few errands oh wow yeah it's a box in the road can't run over that um, we had some serious storms here last night severe and then about two and a half three hours south of here um, there's a couple of tornadoes touched down and a bunch of tornadoes touched down in Alabama so man my heart thoughts and prayers are with all of those people I have been through um, some really bad tornadoes when we lived in Alabama back in 2011 when that big huge sweep of um, uh, tornadoes touched down all over the place down there and we were affected by that um, and we actually we lived about an hour from my mom and dad at the time when we lived in Huntsville Alabama and we had no power for like an entire week I had to take all of my food like to my mom's house we ended up going to my mom's house like every day just to like shower and get cleaned up and just kind of like hang out there and then we would come home like in the evenings and stuff before bed so we could go to like bed and everything come on let's go I said let's go when you like wave people on and they just sit there it's like go please so it is 38 degrees outside and I really wished it would warm up because when it's cold out and I have to run around I come here yes hi could I get a grande white mocha please with caramel drizzle caramel syrup okay anything else for you no that's it it's gonna be okay so it was supposed to be kindly warm today um, and no rain whatsoever, but I'm going to go over to the place which is right next door to the Starbucks here and I'm going to go through and get my car washed and then I'm going to vacuum it out because it's yucky from Brian's parents getting in and out of it last week and everything. So I'm going to vacuum my car. It shouldn't take me long. At least I'm not going to be sweating while I do it because it's cold outside. So I'm hoping that they're open. That's one thing I don't know I am assuming that they are I don't see any other cars over there of course I can't really see oh yeah there's a car there I see it now so they're open yay and then I'm gonna run to Kroger I'm gonna run to oh well Publix is across the street so I just have a few things that I oh man can't do that till next week mm -mm -mm. darn or maybe I'll do it tomorrow I don't Ooh. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I thought maybe I would walk around Hobby Lobby, but then I thought I would just do like a separate film, like spring Hobby Lobby with me. Hobby Lobby, spring, whatever with me. <laughs> whatever. You guys know what I meant. I'm going to get my phone ready. Oh, you guys, look, I changed my phone case too. I changed my phone case to my Mickey. And this thing, this like little plastic what are those little her ears or whatever right there that was like a finger hole and I like cut all that out and then I guess I shouldn't have put her little ears right there but it was that's just covering up the hole that was there it's so weird I didn't like the little finger thing that they had there so I just cut that finger thing off and then just like re-glued those there which I probably should have put them down further but oh well I was just trying to cover up the hole so I put my 
Mickey ears on my phone um, for my trip. I'm very excited about it. And then of course, um, that's my Mickey one on my iPhone and I absolutely love my iWatch, my Apple Watch. Oh my God, speak please. So um, I love my Apple Watch. Um, Brian's is supposed to come in today. That's why I kind of have to hurry back, get back home because his is supposed to come today. Obviously, probably between two and four, which I need to check on that. Let me, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. I got things I got to do. And here we go. I'm getting my car washed. I love it. And it's 38 degrees outside. Oh, but I love just having a nice, fresh, clean car for travel. Ooh. Disco, disco. I got my coffee. dancing I always get I always just like love dancing and just watching people dance Woo, that is quite the color I feel like violet violet you're turning violet violet mm. I've got a blueberry for a daughter now I've got a strawberry Speaking of daughters, um, I don't have any, <laughs> but I was gonna tell you about my son, Brandon. He is officially out of the Navy now, and he is in Kentucky uh, pursuing his next career job, working on a barge. So he's actually in Kentucky right now at orientation. So I was talking on the phone with him last night he had called me to let me know how his like first day went on in like orientation or whatever. And uh, he was so far so good. He's enjoying it. This is like the wind tunnel here. You can see there's another car behind me getting washed too. Alright. I always go to the same spot. Alrighty. Car is vacuumed. It looks great. It smells great. I always spray, I'm gonna try to show you guys. I always spray this stuff in my car, which is the um, J.R. Watkins, like a room refresher. But I always keep a bottle of this in my car and I always spray my car with it like every single time I get in it or after I vacuum it or right before people get in it. Just so my car has a nice, fresh smell for anybody who's riding with me. Not that it normally stinks, but you know, cars kind of get a, a weird smell I guess I don't know um I just love my car to smell nice all the time so I use this and I love it I got this at Target so I'm sure like Walmart has it but I've never seen it so I always get mine at Target so now let's go to Publix and get some of the muddy buddies because I'm taking those with me to Disney yes I am because those are so freaking good and I need to clean my sunglasses they look a little dirty so I got my snacks and I got this cute little bag for 99 cents. I love these like reusable bags. These are like so great to like tote things around with you while you are like traveling or whatever, but it's just so easy and convenient to use these and I love them, especially ones that are themed. I love anything that is themed. Look at that car, so pretty and clean. Alrighty, so I got my stuff at 
Publix, got my stuff at Kroger, plus I had to go back into Kroger because I forgot to get Brian's yogurt. So I had to go back in and get the yogurt. <laughs> so, but when I was in there, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna check and see if they have my L'Oreal blow dry quick dry spray and they did. So I bought three of them. I'll show you guys when I get home. And then I stopped off at Verizon really quick because I wanted a screen protector for my Apple Watch. I had ordered some on Amazon and it was just like the little sticky pads that you put on top of them. Kind of like your the one that you put on your phone. And so I put it on my Apple Watch the other day and I'm like, uh, yeah, this is not gonna work. That did not stick. It was, it kept falling off and it was just, it just looked bad. It didn't like suction all the way down. So I'm like, no, I can't deal with that. So I went ahead and got what they call like a liquid kind. And the liquid one um, just kind of completely coats the whole top of it, which is so nice. And he said it's, it takes like 48 hours for it to cure. So I'm very excited about that. So hopefully, um, this will work and actually yesterday oh my god I freaked out yesterday because I actually um, jumped in the shower with this on and I'm like ah, oh my god so I quickly like jumped out and took it off and set it on my bench and I realized that it is waterproof but you have to set it in like a water mode and I'm like yeah no I didn't and I'm never like gonna swim in it or anything like that or water but it just freaked me out because I'm like oh my god I just ruined it and I've just had it for a couple of days so that kind of made me mad but it's all good it works just fine I just think it, I just love it I don't know like I I never thought like before like I'm like ah, I don't need one they're just they're too small I won't be able to read anything I won't be able to, to you know use it or maneuver around it but because it keeps track of like calories not that I'm counting calories but nonetheless it keeps track of my heart rate um, it does like an ECG on there which I absolutely love I just love playing with it and then it does my steps or whatever so I, I love that it, it itself um, so I I'm just I'm just loving it just loving it uh, yeah I love it I'm gonna order a couple of new bands too because I'm like this one is like I got the pinky like the rose goldy pink um, but I want to get like a black one and then I want to get like a white one so I'm excited about my watch and then I got a new screen protector for my phone as well because mine had cracked not the screen itself but the screen protectors had um, broken so I went ahead and got a new one of those and now I'm all protected and I'll probably end up dropping my phone today and it'll crack again so that'll like make me mad but nonetheless the guy in there was super nice like held the door for me and everything I'm like mm, that's your southern voice for you so nice but anyway so I'm gonna head home and I'll show you guys the stuff that I picked up once I get home Alrighty, so I'll show you guys all the stuff that I picked up. Tonight for dinner, we are having like turkey club sandwiches, keeping it really, really simple. And then tomorrow night, we're probably going to have grilled cheese. So these are the things that I purchased while I was at Kroger and Publix. I picked up these Activias for Brian. We're actually going to be taking um, four of these with us. That way he can have one for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. As you guys know, we actually bring our own breakfast food, which is right there in that bag bag um, I picked him up some of the ices I picked up 20 of these the other 10 are on the other side of the counter but I picked up these I picked up 10 of the pomegranate blueberry and 10 of the black raspberry he loves those and then here are my L'Oreal blow dry quick dry primer sprays I picked up three of them and I lost a lid somewhere but anyway nonetheless I picked up three of them so I'm good for a little while I picked up some bread I picked up a tomato for our club sandwiches tonight, some tomato soup for our uh, grilled cheeses tomorrow night. I picked up some of the strawberry you'll play yogurts for me. I will bring four of these for uh, breakfast as, as well while we're at Disney. And then I have the rest here at the house. And then we picked up some bananas for our trip as well. Um, one for each day that we're there. Um, four for Brian, four for me. So that's, that works out really good. And then I am a sucker for like a really good, easy um, cookbook. And I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was 25% off. And I picked this up and this is what gave me the idea for um, BLTs and grilled cheese tomorrow. 
and tonight. But look how good that sandwich looks. It's got cheese and bacon. It looks like it's got some jalapenos on it. It looks so good. And it's just pretty much like um, really good, like fun snack foods. And I love that chicken fried steak fingers. What? And chicken cheese steaks. Oh my God, so freaking good. Looks so good. And then I picked up Ziploc bags and four bags of the Muddy Buddies. And I'll probably bring two of these bags with me because I usually finish off. It's pathetic, I know, but they're so good. If you guys have not tried these Muddy Buddies, the peanut butter and chocolate ones, do it. They're so good. These are like some of my favorite little snacks right now. And then um, here's the other 10 right here, or more than 10, but this is what I got. And then I picked up some Kroger Deli meat. I'm going to actually have a sandwich today, and I'm looking so forward to it. But this is also going to be for our... Um, club tonight and probably tomorrow night for BLTs and then I'm going to make sandwiches for our travels on the way there on Wednesday. I picked up some lemons because I drink a ton of lemon water and I want some lemons and then I picked up four boxes of Kleenex. I already put one in my car but we can always use some Kleenex and that my friends is it for now i'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away and then kind of start doing some stuff around the house like i gotta clean up this kitchen we made dinner like last night and i never cleaned up the kitchen mm, i know shame on me right but anyway i gotta do all that and then i gotta film a video today pack with me so i'll check back in with you guys a little bit later bye You guys hear that music? Dylan is dead. Luke Perry has passed away. I am so sad. I am so devastated and like heartbroken. It's, you know, you grow up with these people watching them on TV and you guys know how much of a huge 90210 fan I am. I mean, I was a huge fan of the show back in the day and I'm a huge fan even still to this day. And I follow them. I follow like everything 90210 on Instagram and whatever, but Luke Perry has passed away. Oh my God. I am so devastated and heartbroken. Oh, and it was 52 years old. I mean, that is just, that is too young, too young, too young, too young. Um, and he died of a massive stroke. He had one last week. Wow. I'm just devastated, devastated. Can't believe it. But anyway, I'm actually watching 90210 right now as we speak. These are the older, not the older ones. These are like the newer, I wouldn't say newer ones. These are like the later in the season ones. So like when Valerie was there, um, Brandon was still there, but yeah. But anyway, I love, oh my God, I still can't believe it. I'm like heartbroken. Okay. <sighs> Dylan. Oh, he's so, oh, I can't believe it. So sad. So sad. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have my clothes picked out for what I'm going to wear on our way there on Wednesday morning. Uh, it's supposed to be cold here when we leave, but I'm okay. I'm going to wear a cardigan, shirt, jeans. Um, I might wear my slip-ons. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear my sandals. I will be bringing my sandals, but I don't think I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to wear them. I don't know. I might. just depends because... Yeah, when we get out, I don't want my feet to be froze, but not like it really makes a difference. Okay, so I'm actually going to go put some socks in the back room for Brian. That way his, I can start getting his bag packed. I actually just finished a pack with me video showing you guys all of the stuff that I'm bringing, toiletries, etc. So yeah, and then um, this is all of my stuff down here. And I actually have that, I just filmed a video on this stuff, uh, minus this bag and minus that bag. I didn't do these two bags right here. But everything right there that you see, all that stuff is a video. All that stuff is in a video. So yeah, so I'm very happy about that. I got that video done. That's gonna go up on Wednesday. So you guys will have a video up Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and, oh, wait, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I might have to move things around because I'll have a video. No, I'm not going to do a video tomorrow. 
So I'm not gonna vlog, I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday, I'm not vlogging because I, I will have a video up on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There won't be a vlog up on Sunday unless I get one done. I highly doubt it. I'm not even gonna stress about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but I'm not gonna vlog tomorrow because I'm gonna try to get so much stuff done around this house that I don't wanna have to pick up the camera and then um, vlog and edit and everything like that because I just wanna get everything completely done around here. If I can, I'm gonna start transitioning. I started pulling out some of my Easter stuff already. Um, I just have to continue to do that. I wanna make sure that my house is completely uh, spit spot perfect before I leave uh, because I like to come home to a clean house. That way all I have to do when I come home is throw some stuff in the laundry and then kind of just start fresh. So that's my main goal. So like cleaning out the refrigerator and all that good stuff. So yeah, as of right now, I'm, I don't foresee myself vlogging but you never know. <laughs> this girl loves to vlog. This girl loves to share her stuff. So we shall see. Um, I don't know. But for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog for, he from, for now. That way I can get this one up and edited because I'm editing another one right now, which is my, tr my pack with me uh, video. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and go. I have a, quite a few things that I still have to get done this afternoon. And yeah, when I do videos and stuff, that takes up some of my time. So I kind of put some things on the back burner, like my kitchen. I need to go get that done. Ooh. And then Brian's watch is coming in. So I'll be sitting with him later on tonight, getting that together. I want to look through that cookbook. That cookbook looks amazing. I made a sandwich a second ago and sat down and had some lunch and I was looking through that, that um, cookbook. Wow. Some really good stuff in there. And uh, I really want to start like sharing a couple of recipes with you guys so goals for the goals you know channel goals that's all I could say and speaking of channel goals uh, I was watching Crystal Tara this morning and she is such a sweet woman I have never met her she lives in like North Dakota or South Dakota or something like that anyway and uh, I love watching her I know she's like young and she's got like four kids or whatever and I'm like going on 46, but I still enjoy watching her. And I think, you know, she's got four kids. She has twins. I had twins. I had four kids. Um, although mine are grown. I just still love watching her. Anyway, she's sweet. She had got a couple of comments or whatever on her um, videos. And somebody had said something to her about, um, they're so sick of watching the same old content. All you do is a clean with me or a cook with me or whatever, whatever, whatever. And... I'm like, to me, I'm, to me, I'm saying to her while I'm watching her, don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. If they don't like what you're putting out, they don't have to watch. And that's kind of how I feel with anybody. If they don't like hanging out with me every single day or hanging out with her every single day or watching her, you know, clean her kitchen again or watching her um, paint or whatever, um, then don't watch her. I mean, that's just, that's just it. I personally love watching all that stuff. And when I watch her, I watch her while I'm putting on my, my makeup during in the day. Um, I have her propped up on my little mirror in my, my makeup room. And that's where I sit and watch her. And I absolutely love watching her. I don't care what she's doing. If she's doing a grocery haul or she's doing um, an Easter haul or painting her house or showing an update on her home decor, shopping, playing with her kids. I love watching her. And that's kind of like what I think that's why everybody loves like YouTube because we all get excited or we all just, I don't know if it's excited, but I, we all get like this, like we love watching other people. And that's kind of like what, why I got started doing this because I liked watching other people on YouTube as well. And it's like, man, you know, people are watching this every single day. People are watching her like clean her house or make up her bed or put her makeup on. Yes people do that. But if that's something that you don't want to watch, don't leave a comment at the very bottom. Don't leave a comment at all on anybody's video saying that it's boring, change your content, we're sick of watching this. Then move on to another channel that you won't get sick of or move on to another channel that doesn't do home decor or clean all the time. Watch something else. Like I... I, she, she admitted she's like a people pleaser. I'm not, I'm not a people pleaser at all. It's like, I'm like, 
if y'all don't like something guess what sorry this is me this is my channel this is what i'm gonna do every day i love sharing content i love um you know reaching out and talking to you guys i love your comments back um i i just love it i love reading everything and um you know i don't i do this i do this not only for me but i do this for you guys as well because some people just maybe you can't get up off the couch or maybe you can't get out out of your bed and people like to live vicariously through other people i mean i know i do there's youtubers out there that i love watching and i live vicariously through them i mean and to name one is the trackers i mean i love watching tim and jen tracker especially when they go to disney and universal it's like they can go every single day and i will watch every single video that they put out every single day because I live vicariously through them every single day going to Disney. And I love that. Adam Hatton. Love him. Love, love, love me some Adam Hatton. He is amazing. He's fun to watch. He's entertaining. He's funny. He's insightful. He's kind. He's generous. He's humorous. I love me some Adam. And uh, I would love to meet him. <laughs> he would be like such a per fun person to, to hang out with. And he's got great content. I will watch when he puts up Disney content. I will watch him if he's vlogging. I will watch him if he is cleaning up his house, which I don't think I've ever seen him clean his house, but he's just really good at his Disney content. He's amazing. Uh, so those are just things that, like I said, if you don't like a video, if you don't like somebody, if you don't like what they did in their video or what they said in their video, move on. You don't have to put in your two cents because quite frankly, I don't care what anybody has to say about me or how I do things around my house or what I'm wearing or how I'm wearing it or if I my makeup's on the wrong way or if I put something on the wrong way. You know what? It works for me. It doesn't have to work for you or whatever. I just I just wish everybody could like be nice, you know? And usually now when I like in the very beginning when I started YouTube and I started getting all these like hateful comments or whatever, I used to take it personally. I used to take it to heart and I'm going, well, why don't, how come, why don't you like me? Oh my God, I'm not like this selfish, you know, stuck up little snobby stay at home because I wasn't stay at home before. I worked and I shared content with you guys, lots of Disney stuff. But now that I don't have to work, I decide to share with you guys every single day, but I did take certain things personally. And I now I can tell when somebody's had a very boring Friday night or Saturday night and they're like, woe is me, I'm gonna watch somebody's YouTube channel and then I'm gonna like tell them that their hair looks bad or their makeup looks bad or they look fat or they've eaten too many cookies or whatever the case may be. I can tell and I immediately just delete them. Delete, I don't even pay, I don't even give them the platform to say anything ugly. I deleted somebody the other day because she had to come apart because I did not go to Tennessee to be with my mom when she was in the hospital. Again, you don't know the behind the scenes in a lot of things. I, you know, I don't share everything. I didn't share that I was gonna be leaving the next day if I had to. Um, if something happened like that again, um, my sister and I have already talked about it. My sister, especially my sister, she had to bounce from Courtney in the hospital room on another floor and then my mom on another floor. So she, she and I talked, if that ever happened again, I would have to go help her. Not a problem. We would definitely switch off. But it was just like they had the situation under control. And again, I don't need to explain myself about that, but it was just like, I deleted her because I'm just like, okay, I'm so done with you. You don't know, you know, my personal struggle with all of that. Also, you don't know what we had planned and what I want, what I was going to do. So back off people, <laughs> back off. But yeah, I'm not a people pleaser and um, I don't do things because it's going to make somebody happy. I don't say something because it's going to make somebody happy. So that's just not, no, mm -mm, not going to happen. Um, I will do my own thing and I like it. And if I see other people doing it on their channel, it's not copying, it's just like, oh, that's working. So I think that's a great thing. So if something's working for somebody else and you're taking their ideas and you're taking you know, a little bit from what they're doing, um, I don't consider that copying. I actually consider that, um, uh, what am I trying to say, uh, as a, um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of the word, hold on. Um, I would actually take that as a compliment and I would like, 
go for that because if you see you see the the people on youtube and you see like the big people on youtube who have a lot of subscribers now look i'm not gonna go do stupid stuff and jump off of a bridge just to get to likes or whatever that ain't happening um i'm not gonna go like stuff my face full of a full pizza just to get likes and and all that that's not happening because i i'm not into all that either i'm just gonna do what i do and if you like me you do if you don't you don't you don't have to stay you don't have to stick around <laughs> And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But like I said, I I will see what's working for somebody and I'll go, ooh, that's working. So if that's working for them, maybe I'll try that in a different way or I'll present that in a different way on my channel and maybe it'll work for me as well. So I don't take that as stealing or copying. I take that as a compliment. So like, for example, if somebody goes and they get the cardigan that I wear, like if I this cardigan that I have on, I don't even remember where I got it, but nonetheless, if you like my cardigan, you're gonna ask me where I got my cardigan. And then you're gonna go out and get one. You're not copying me. You just happen to like the cardigan and you're like, ooh, that'll look nice on me as well. I want that cardigan. You ask, I tell. You share, it's a compliment. That's how it works. I mean, I don't, people, t people take things the wrong way, I guess. And people are just too sensitive these days for, people are too sensitive for me. I can't take, a, I can't handle like sensitivity. <laughs> it's like, I am not like a sensitive person. I don't get embarrassed very quickly about things. Um, I've said this before. I'm just very like out there in your face. I tell it like it is. If y'all don't like it, you can unsubscribe. You can go to another channel. You can dislike me. That's fine. Cause I'm not going to change just because you don't like me. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And I, I wish, I hope that Crystal Tara, realizes that on herself as well because she's an amazing amazing woman she's an amazing mom she vlogs awesome her channel is awesome obviously she's got like 20,000 subscribers so she's obviously doing something right there's more people out there that like her than there isn't does that make sense so yeah I just I want everybody just to be nice if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it at all just don't say it and I know some people can't help that but try to try to learn to just say nice things. Give them a compliment. If you don't like the makeup, say something else nice. Find something else nice to say. I like your lipstick. Your hair looks great. Or if you can't find it in yourself to type nice, kind words, then don't say or type anything at all. That's it. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it. I think I've rambled enough. I think I said enough. I think you guys get the point, right? All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna go. And I will see you guys if not tomorrow, I'll see you guys at Disney. Bye!